For Alfa Romeo, the 4C is more than just a car. It's a statement of intent, a show of strength to the rest of the world from this once proud company. Using cutting edge carbon fiber technology from Formula One, the 4C shows what Alfa is capable of, but most importantly, it shows the company has rediscovered its mojo. Nowhere is that return to form more obvious than in the way the car looks. Lord knows stunning is a hopelessly overused word when it comes to car design, but we think we're on safe ground when we apply it to the 4C. Conceived in Alpha's own design centre, this low and wide mini supercar is a wonderful combination of taut lines and voluptuous curves that echo classic Alphas of the past, but still look totally modern at the same time. The front end is dominated by the famous Alfa Romeo badge, with ridges running up from either side of it, up and over the bonnet, forming an unmistakable V. At the same time, corresponding curves run along the door up to the air intakes on this muscular rear end, and it's entirely deliberate that you can see the engine through the rear window. Just as importantly, this isn't designed for design's sake. This shape is as aerodynamic as it is beautiful, and that improves the car's performance. Mind you, you do suffer for Alpha's art. Thanks to these small doors and this high and wide sill you have to clamber over, it's almost impossible to get in and out in an elegant fashion. Once you're behind the wheel though, it's surprisingly comfortable. Even for a six footer like me, there's plenty of head and leg room because you sit nice and low down as you should in a proper sports car. And because there's reach and rake adjustment on the steering wheel, it's easy to find a good driving position. The design leaves you in no doubt that this is an out and out driver's car. What few controls there are, are angled towards the driver on this center console. And there's no conventional dial, just a beautiful TFT screen behind the steering wheel with its display responding to the driving mode you're in. And as for creature comforts, well, there aren't any. There isn't even an adjustment on the passenger seat to save weight. Instead, the cabin makes a virtue out of its sheer minimalism. Alpha has deliberately left the carbon fibre on view. And that, the exposed paintwork, the metalwork, and even the exposed screw heads all add to its distinctive charm. Mind you, in some places, Alpha has perhaps gone a little bit too far. Some of this switch gear would look cheap and tacky in a five grand super mini, let alone a 45 grand supercar. car was uncompromising, then the way it drives is even more so. And we'll be the first to admit there are people for whom this car is just too noisy, too uncomfortable, and frankly too frightening. But for a red-blooded petrol head, this car is heaven. Thanks to Alpha's obsessive weight saving, this is a really, really light car. So even with just a four-cylinder engine and only 240 brake horsepower, it's seriously, seriously quick. It gathers speed and serious speed really easily. And when you get to a corner, you'll find it handles beautifully as well. Its chassis with a mid-engine rear-wheel drive is superbly balanced. The steering has a wonderful weight to it and just slight turns of the wheel are enough to get that gorgeous nose straight into the apex. And the real beauty of the 4C is it just gets better the faster you go. Where it's all gripes and grumbles at low speed, once you up the pace, the whole thing just comes alive. The car feels incredibly agile when the suspension hits its sweet spot. You genuinely can feel the road through the steering wheel. And it's all the more exciting to drive this car because you've got the engine bellowing the way over your shoulder there, 
and the exhaust crackles and spits at the back of the car too. By the same token, this is a very demanding car to drive. You won't have a moment's rest and the car has a potentially alarming tendency to follow every slight camber change in the road. But even so, this is a true driver's car and any true driver will love driving it. It is fantastically rewarding. The 4C certainly isn't a car for every day or every one, and some people will find it just too raw and too extreme. But it's that very uncompromising nature that makes it such a great car. For a small group of aficionados, this stunning creation could just be the best car in the world. <laughs> 